In this snippet, we'll take a look at changing your IP address uh, from a dynamic IP address to a static IP address. To start with, I'll select Start and type in Network and Sharing Center. And here's my selection. This is located under the control panel. Uh, and I want to select the Network and Sharing Center. So I'll go ahead and select that. What we've got here uh, is kind of a new utility to work with. This is not available in Windows XP. This is something new for Windows 7. And what you see here is this is kind of a, a window that kind of gathers all my network information and puts it all in one spot. What I'm looking for is the connections area right here. And you'll see this has got the local area connection. Now this is connected through uh, an actual hardwire um, cable. Uh, if you have a wireless connection such as a laptop, you may see a wireless connection listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this local area connection. And what we've got here are these are the properties or the, some of the statistics for my network connection at the moment. I can see that I currently have an IP version 4 protocol um, IP address and when this is connected to the internet. Uh, I do not have the version 6 connected to the internet. Uh, this is typically the case for most, most users. You'll see that you have a version 4 address. Uh, and I'm enabled and this is how long I have been uh, connected to the internet for and this is also the speed of my internet connection for my network itself. Now what I'm going to want to do is choose the properties and so I'll go ahead and select the properties and what will happen here is, is the properties. Uh, this is some of the technologies that we have as far as our network connections are concerned, some of the protocols that we're using. Uh, it allows us basically the services and so forth on our network to be able to do things like sharing as well as connecting to other computers or seeing other computers on our network as well as having an IP address and some other diff uh, technologies that we've got in here. What I'm looking for is the Internet Protocol version 4 and there it is. Again, if this was Windows XP's operating system, you would see that it would just say Internet Protocol uh, as opposed to Internet Protocol version 4. And so this is, uh, in Windows 7, it does separate the two for us. And what we want to do is we want to make sure we have version 4 selected. And I'm going to choose Properties. What we've got here is uh, the default settings uh, on a Windows machine. And it says, uh, Obtain an IP address automatically. And this is the default setting. And what this does is it actually tells your computer to boot up uh, and choose to send out a request for an IP address and what happens is a, a computer called or a device called a DHCP server sends back an address for my computer and says this is the address you basically can use on your computer uh, and so that can change over time depending on certain circumstances but uh, they basically are giving an address that's available for us what I want to do is actually change this and I want to actually choose a specific address here uh, rather than having one being being given to us and so what I want to do is currently look at what my IP address is at the moment because I have I am connected to the internet so I want to choose in CMD or type in CMD and I'm going to type in the command ipconfig and take a look at what my current address is what I'm looking for is this Ethernet adapter local area connection and what you're gonna see here is here's my internet protocol version 4 address it's 10.0.2.15. So this is my current address on my computer. And what I'm going to do is actually change my address. And so I'll type that in here. 10.0.2. What I'm looking for is I want to change my computer's number. I need to keep these first three the same. This is actually belonging to the network. And this is what network my computer is connected to. Uh, and of course, uh, the subnet mask is, is what actually determines... Uh, across a network what portion of my address belongs to the network what portion belongs to the computer and in this case 10.0.2 belong to the network so I want to I'm going to type that in and I'm going to choose a different computer number 15 is the one I currently have I'm going to choose uh, 20 the subnet mask by default is fills in a whatever class address uh, that I've typed in here and it's currently this is a class a address however if you take a look at the setup although it is a class A address we are tip we are actually breaking the rules kind of and we're using a class C subnet mask which is 255 255 and 255 so I'm going to go ahead and change this just reflect my network and then I've also got the default gateway which is the the computer or the device that allows my um, 
network connection to leave my network and join another or connect to another network. So this is a 10.0.2.2. 10.0.2.2. Also notice that this computer is in the same network. It has a 10.0.2 address and there's a 10.0.2 address. So we are both on the same network. However, we have different computer address uh, sections here. We've got 20 for me and 2 for the default gateway. Now I also need to type in a DNS server. Uh, what this is is your domain name server. Oftentimes on a home computer this is going to be your router's address. Uh, in a business, this is most likely going to be your domain controller, or the server that's basically controlling your domain, uh, the address of that computer. And I'm going to go ahead and type in 10.0.2.2. And both my uh, devices, the gateway and the DNS server, are actually the same computer in this instance. I'll choose OK. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Close and then go ahead and hit close again and now let's go ahead and go back to the command line just to verify I'm going to go ahead and type in ipconfig and you'll now notice that my address is now 10.0.2.20 that is a static address it will not change and according to this one here uh, this one is the address that it was, I was given by a DHCP server and now I forced it to change it to a new address and this is going to be using this address and every time I log on the computer this local area connection will use this IP address until I choose to set it back to a, to either dynamic or if I choose to set it to a different number uh, using the static option.